Hey everybody! So, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been working on a ton of projects. Also, my camera got busted. So I know we've already done building a custom pick guard, uh, but I've got to do another one for another guitar. Definitely like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, so this is the guitar that we're currently working on right now. It's gonna be a natural finish. Uh, it's a custom semi-hollow design of mine that I'm doing. It's got the binding around the top and with a nice little bevel, uh, but we're doing a pick guard for it and we're doing something almost like a K Vanguard style pick guard. This is the template that I'm gonna use and we're gonna do almost like a Gretchy Gretch style pick guard, which is cool, which I love to do. It's not hard to do and it's very inexpensive. So it's gonna be like that transparent kind of guard almost. So this is one I just did for Trini style. It's like a transparent white, so uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you basically paint the back side of the guard using this Lexan from Home Depot or whatever hardware store you got, and you only paint the back side of it. So it's like a Gretsch pick card. Uh, it looks cool. It adds like, I don't know, more dynamic to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it with this style pick card. Um, we're gonna start out with a polycarbonate sheet and you can get it at a local hardware store. I'm sure like, you know, Home Depot or something like that. All right, so you're gonna need some double-sided sticky tape. You gotta also put the pick guard on backwards of whatever you think it should be because if you put it on uh, front facing, you're gonna run into issues because the bevel will actually be on the opposite side of what you need and it'll face the opposite way. You'll see what I'm talking about. So for this next step, I'm gonna use the bandsaw. You don't have to use a bandsaw. You can use like a jigsaw to cut things. Uh, that's a cheap and inexpensive way to do it without using a bandsaw. So there is an option. You can also use sanders. You know, if you have like an orbital sander or uh, something like that, you can use that as well to sand down the material. Um, you can pretty much cut the material with uh, a lot of different things as long as it's, you know, more of a fine, quick cut. Uh, you're just going to want to get it in the general shape before you route it out. You could technically just go straight at it with a router, but I would recommend getting it um, cut as close to the template as possible and then using the router. Let's go cut it on the bandsaw. All right, so I just finished cutting everything or routing everything on the pick guard and noticed that my, uh, the way I did the pickup routes was a little bit different than uh, my original template, uh, which is fine because I'm not using humbuckers on this build. So it wouldn't make sense to route four humbuckers because they're wider than what I'm using. I'm gonna actually put it up to the guitar body, may even mount it on the guitar body and then route them out that way. I feel like that'd be the cleanest, easiest way to do it. All right, so now I'm gonna start working on a guitar nut for the Trini model that I'm doing right now. Which is over there on the wall. It doesn't have a green fretboard, so don't worry, that's just frog tape. So I'm gonna do a nut for that. I'm gonna do a bone nut. Um, I've got a box full of goodies. Goodies that I ordered. Here's a bone blank that we're gonna use. Ooh. Cracked. Come on, Stu Mac. So, Eureka. I found another one. I had hiding away. Already ordered, put in another order for a new nut, but it's okay. This one will work. This one is in great shape. Not broken. Bleached. If you can tell but we wanted to just basically get the general shape get the widths right and also bone nuts are just like 
really, really, really stinky when you sand them. I don't know what the deal is. It's that just they smell really bad. Always a good idea to have like a respirator on hand if you're sanding and like a vacuum going or something because they just stink. I'm gonna continue sanding this down, get the general shape, then we're just gonna cut our nuts lots. If you don't own one of these, I would highly recommend getting one. It's a string spacing rule that Stu Mac makes and it just makes life a lot easier when trying to uh, slot nuts for, for string widths. So yeah, get one. So today is a new day. Well, it's actually a new afternoon or evening. I am basically going to do a little hardware installation on the, oh, if I could get it off the wall, off the Trini. I figured we could uh, mount the bridge. I need to wire in the pickups, but I already started wiring things up here. Um, I've got, just did a mock-up. So note to self, for wiring, I always find what really helps is you can turn like an old box, like an Amazon box or whatever, shipping box, into like a mock-up of your um, wiring layout. Just make sure you wire everything like backwards. So uh, for example, this is set up backwards. So if I flip this box over, this is the inside of my wiring layout. So that's the easiest way to do it. And then you can wire everything up the proper way, uh, but this keeps everything stable. You just punch some holes in here and stick your pots in, stick your switch in. Um, yeah, do your wiring. Everything's good to go. Got my pickups, got a day arm on uh, style pickup here for the front. We're gonna do this sweet ass gold foil top humbucker courtesy of Gemini Pickups. Uh, he makes amazing pickups, by the way. So yeah, check out Gemini. It's already getting a little bit of a patina because it's a, a raw nickel finish, uh, which I love. Yeah, just from sitting out in the garage for like a week, it's getting a great patina already. But his stuff is awesome. Got a few more fun ones in here, like this P90, another humbucker. Woohoo! This looks like it's pretty much ready to be sanded. Dry sanding works the best for this. So wet sanding, it is a water-based paint. I find that wet sanding does not work that well for this. So dry sanding this paint actually works the best and then buffing it out like normal, um, which is crazy because I always wet sand every other finish I do. Let's knock it out. So uh, I just finished polishing out the guitar body. Um, everything came out really good for now, so far. We got a nice polish going on, a nice sheen. Um, I didn't want to go too glossy with it because I'm not a fan of like ultra gloss guitars. Now we're gonna start to install some hardware. All right, so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take these pieces out like this, take these screws out. And so we just have the thimble. Then we're going to um, soak these up a little bit and I'm going to hammer them down, but not before I put in my ground wire, which is super important. And I'm gonna take the shielding off of it down. Then this is basically gonna get hammered down in there and touch our thimble. But first, I'm gonna take some soap and soak these bad boys up will help them slide in much easier. You just put a little soap on the threads. We got our ground right there as well. And then we're just gonna put this like this. We'll take a rubber mallet. I'm gonna use this template, a uh, half inch MDF, which should be just fine. And I'm basically going to tap this down. And what it does, it gives me a wider base. Should hopefully help our paint not to chip.
All right, so here's the thing. I just so happen to have an extra Bigsby laying around. So yeah, that's probably gonna be what we're gonna do. Really been into the Goto tuners lately on a lot of my builds. They're really, really just like smooth and good and consistent. They don't look vintage, but that's okay. I uh, still dig them. Now we've got to put uh, both E strings on in order to line up our Bigsby because we want to make sure it's like lined up just right. Now I did cut a nut for this earlier. We got to put that on, but right now it's just going to act as a placeholder for us, which is fine because I'm not ready to glue it down and glue it in yet. I still got to do a little bit more fret work to this uh, with setup and stuff. I'm going to just have this in place as like a rough placeholder right now. So the easiest way to line up this kind of tail piece is by using some string. Just kind of let the string tension pull. We want it to be flush on the top, uh, so that way it's like flush up here. So there's a gap underneath here at the back. And then we're just gonna literally just bring the back down to where that that's flush. And then just let this kind of rock and do its thing right here. We're gonna also put some padding underneath here and screw it down. We're just kind of letting the tension do the work for us. And it's wanting to pull to this side because there's a lot more tension on this, uh, which is fine. But we could actually pull a little bit more tension on this side so it matches even. There we go. All right, I put some more tension on this this high E right here. So that way it's a little more even. And we're just gonna bring this back just like that. Let's make sure these are right on the money. Right on the money. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a pencil, we're gonna mark, cause we gotta drill into the body, to our center block, mark right there. That's also why we put our tape down to protect our finish, and then also allow us to draw and drill. We gotta be pretty dead center with these, or else that's gonna be weird and out of whack. Also going to come down here, and we'll turn him back now. There we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Either way, if he doesn't use it, it doesn't matter. It's there for looks more. We've got our gold foil in the neck and our uh, other pickup in the bridge. Uh, so yeah, but uh, first I'm gonna wire these up and make sure if you ever have the choice, get a 333 because they actually have a back plate on them exact same as a 335 you know they have a back plate you can take off and do all the wiring so much easier to get to stuff 335s anything like this it's literally impossible to get to everything so i highly recommend a 333 if you can hunt one down all right y'all so i'm gonna call it a day just to go over what i ended up finishing on uh wired everything up in here got everything set up nice um, yeah, this guitar is going to be sweet. Ooh. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. Got the guard going in. It's gonna be like Gretchy Gretsch style, clear transparent on the top. Thanks again for tuning in. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Yeah, thanks again. All right, see ya.